We are here in SEMA Central. I'm Kevin Oste at the 2017 SEMA Trade Show in Las Vegas, and I'm joined now by Mr. Trey Smith, uh, and you are involved in the Armo organization, which is the Automotive Restoration Market organization. That's correct, yes. Uh, which is near and dear to my heart, uh, big into restorations. We have a restoration shop. So I'm curious to know more about Armo. Uh, Armo, we're uh, 217 member companies uh, spread across the entire United States, uh, a couple of, uh, from Canada as well. But we are about preserving you know, the restoration market, about preserving these pieces of history that we have. They are, uh, they're an important part of it, and, and that's, that's really what Armo's about, as well as our big youth initiatives that we're pushing out there right now, our Take a Kid to the Car Show program. Uh, we've created a whole new program there where we're trying to get information into the, the car show promoters' hands that then they can also get it into the kids, getting them involved, getting them at, the, you know, at these events, and, and, and you know, trying to make it more enjoyable for them and get them in the hobby. That is a huge thing. Oh, um, massive. We are trying to do everything we can to uh, excite the next generations. SEMA's got a big thing this year. Their logo, one of the deals is you as leading our future, and it reaches out to the youth. And you're talking about going even further with taking a kid to a car show. Um, that Take a Kid to the Car Show uh, program, tell me about that, uh, you know, your, your efforts to reach out to show car show organizers. If right. I'm going to put on a car show, what do I get out of this? You can, uh, well, number one, what you're going to do is you're going to get a future attendee. You're going to get so you're going to get a kid that hopefully is going to get excited and get passionate about this industry. And you know, there's there's so many people in this room just right now that are passionate. If we can show those kids just how much fun and how much passion you can be involved, that's going to that's going to make them future customers, maybe even future business people within this industry Could be. as well. So yeah. I mean, it ties into so many other levels. And uh, you know, for, as far as for the promoters, we're giving them some tools, uh, everything from you know stickers that kids are going to want to collect and, and that kind of thing, to as well as uh, junior uh, judge programs. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. Where the kids can get out there and look at some of these cars and get involved in that level and learn about them. Yep. As well as uh, we've got a new scavenger hunt program where there's there's things where they can you know they can do that with their parent. If you know, you've got a father and a son out there hanging out at the car show, they've got a, a scavenger hunt program where they can walk around and they're looking for okay they're looking for the alternator, they're looking for a supercharger, they're looking oh, cool. for this kind of thing. great idea things to try to you know interest them and educate at the same time. Yeah, and it also makes them be a little more social. They get to talk to people and exactly. Interact. Yeah, exactly. That, and that's extremely important. And it's funny as we're talking. I remember that. Uh, one of my early introductions into cars was I had an older cousin who took me to a car show in Chicago, the World of Wheels, big deal. And I never forget the bright chrome and the colors and, and you're, you're hooked, you know. And, you bet. So at an early age, it's important. You know, I grew up, grew up in the automotive industry and, uh, you know, I, I got to give a big thanks to my dad who drugged me to every car show he could <laughs> find just yeah. trying to keep me interested. And, and you know, keep you out of trouble and all that. You know, everything that goes on with that. And I literally, he and I went to one Saturday before I flew out on Sunday here. Yeah, right, yeah. right. So well, and the, the take a kid to a car show program kind of goes beyond Armo. Oh, you know, yeah. for, it's for anybody. But let's talk a little bit back about the uh, the Armo program and, and how you're personally involved uh, in your business. Right. Within you know Armo itself. Uh, we're very multifaceted, what we're looking at, the functions of everything. The, again, the, the youth program, we're very heavy into legislative issues, uh, you know, trying to help the, the D.C. office with everything from the RPM Act, even though that doesn't officially tie directly to ARMO, it's very important to us, uh, you know, helping fight, you know, bad legislation, bad regulation. Uh, and then also, uh, you know, with uh, a big thing that's out in the state of California, Proposition 65, uh, with anybody that doesn't really know and understand what that is, go to the Armo site. There's a big, huge page of it uh, about Proposition 65 and how it affects our industry. Tell me about the strength of the restoration market. It is very strong. Uh, we're seeing a lot of second and third generation restorations that are going on right now. And with all the new bodies that are coming out, you know, with especially like the new 4040, if you go over to the Armo booth, you'll see uh, one of those brand new bodies that's literally been created into a work of art uh, and that that's just the easiest way i could describe it yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you know you've got you know camaros and chevelles and trucks that are all doing bodies so we're we're taking this even beyond the old the old original sheet metal and giving an opportunity for you know the next generation to have one of these great 
great vehicles. Yeah, very cool. Where can somebody learn more about Armo? Uh, they can go to the, uh, right here at the show, you can go to the Armo uh, booth, uh, 23395, uh, and you know, can talk to anyone as we've got it staffed all weekend, you know, talking about the councils, about SEMA itself, how you can get involved, how you can be better educated and be you know, better, better informed. Awesome. Trey, appreciate you coming out today and telling us about it and uh, working towards bringing the future generations into the great sport, hobby, and maybe even business of automobile restoration here at SEMA 2017.